man. Ah, me. Watch my fucking horns, fucking Pavarotti. Fucking watch my horns, you fat prick. Davy boy, smashing to see ye. I'm glad you brought your wee pal Sean along too. I've been hearing some, some frankly concerning things from Craig there, Davy. You see, I'm sitting in a house, having a call one. Feet up, watching the jairs pop the sheep shaggers. Two one, happy as Larry me. Then Craig comes in and tells me how you two roughed up. No one, no two, but three men doing murder at place. I'm impressed. But then he tells me he's nicked my product and then proceeded to sell it to my junkie clients and kept all my money for yourselves too. Fuck's sake, Craig, you big grass and bastard. Jim's enjoyed what's up, I'll get the first one in the last month as well. <sighs> Waste your weak cunt. Or I'll knock the few teeth you have left off. Good one. Jimmy, we better diversity in your outfits nowadays, eh? Really bring yourself out of 2019. Craig? Craig Carleone has not got the same ring yet, does it? You're quiet, Davy. I thought you couldn't usually keep your fucking trap shut. Get your mad dog there for your mouthpiece now. Is that you finished, Jim? I was just waiting you get into the part about prying off kneecaps and second chances. Well, maybe I should then, smart arse. Look at the fucking state, you, Jim. You're an old man. You're a short ass in a trench coat. You fucking bunnet. See you and all these assholes you've brought behind you, you fucking stupid boy. I'd slap the gums right out your mouth and see this cunt. Italians. Drinking the mafia or something. No, I think, Davy. I think you still think you're bully big boys. Cause you battered a few boys when you're 15. Do you think because you can take a couple of hits in the jaw makes you some sort of a big man? You don't know the fucking half of it. But I'll tell you something, son. You're gone, eh? That! Get this dirty fuck, get off me. Fuck off. Sean, Sean, you're fine. See you, you fucking rat. Take these off me and I'll take you a square go. You're your fucking boy. Sean, you're alright. I'm not gonna do fuck all. See you, you fucking bald wee helmet. You undo these right now and I'll take you a straightener. Sean, no! Sean! Sean, you fucking sick bag bastard! Fuck off, Sean! <laughs> well, I like you, Davy. You've got boys. I'll give you that. I'm going to give you one more chance. I'm going to let you see what happens when you think you can take me for a fucking mug. You. You work for me now. Cause see the next time. See the next time. It might just be that wee pretty lass of yours. Christine. Maybe a wee one too. You're fucking rat! Aye! I'll is fucking it? kill you, you is rat it? bastard! Bavarotti? You prick.
ascend to the sky of God's only son. I don't know who I am, but I know where I'm from, and I'm biblical. I say, don't tell me I'm not. David! No phone call, not even a text. It's just a simple kiss, then I'm going to the pub, then stalking about the streets, blackout drunk would suffice. Sorry, I lost my phone. David, what's going on? What's happened to your face? It's like a darling. I'll have missed you. Wow. Oh, Patrick's good at building floors. Was it just Patrick or did you help as well? Who designed it? It's amazing. Do you mind if I come in? Oh, wow. Is it both of you that built it? Mm -hmm. Well, teamwork makes the dream work. This is the best sport that I've ever seen. Do you know that? What I think we should do, Alice, I think we should sell the house and then make a new house that's just out of quilts and blankets and pillows. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah. Shall we do that? Yeah. Right, can you do a big cuddle first? Oh. Oh, oh, you can't do it heavy for me. Yeah, still. Yeah, I'll come in and see you and Patrick soon, okay? Bye bye. No BS. You've got to tell me what's going on right now. Are you in trouble? Are we in trouble? Sit down. Sean. I've killed him. I didn't think they'd go that far, but they have. Listen, Christine, I'm not going to let anything happen to you or Alice. I promise. You promise? Really? Many times you promised to me you would stop this nonsense, stop playing nets with your mates. Now look what's coming out. There's no us tanning mad dogs in the park anymore. We've got Alice to look out for. They can beat me senseless, but there's so much but as they Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen, look. Well, all right, today's day one job for Jim, and that's it. Everything goes back to normal. Normal? Spending your days pointing to wee guys, that's normal to you. What happened to that job down the depot? You packed it in, didn't you? What do you expect from me? To know my parent for 50 years a week to earn their pittance. I've not got a choice. I've got a record. Christine, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't get the job in the first place. I just didn't want you upset. Well, I am. David, you need to sort your life out. I did. You can take responsibility and live a decent life with us or keep blaming others and we'll go. I have got a choice. There's always a choice. But you're man enough to make it.
that's it for sport. A man gone missing in East End of Glasgow. Sean Lennon has now disappeared for over a week as his family pleaded with the public for any information. What's he done then, Christine? You wouldn't be calling if it wasn't for another one of Davy's infamous fuck-ups. I know you didn't exactly part ways in best term, being Nietzsche. He's got in a lot of bother with you. Christine, enough, all right? I spent far too long trying to get Davy to listen to me or any bit of reason. But he's a waster. Don't know how you haven't figured that one out. Do yourself a favour and go. He's too far gone. If he wouldn't listen before, he's no going to now. Sorry. Hold on, Peter, I'll phone you back. Ah, look, wee man. Is that you, mate? It's Peter. Peter Wilson, mind. <laughs> what have you been up to, mate? Still getting those stuck in books, aye? <laughs> it's mad. We've no bumped into each other since school, ain't it? You're not very chatty, are you, mate? Same old Alec, eh? <coughs> listen, prick, and listen close. I am not your fucking mate, alright? I was about pissing off out of my sight and keeping it that way. Relax, mate. Alex, relax. Oh, you're a psycho. Christine, where is he? No, two mugs, Jackie. Just for me, but. They bought a gym. Pricks can get a rain round for her. What can I get you, son? Can I grab an odd bag, please? No, but I can get you a belt. Aye, I'll just be. Who the fuck are you then? You ginger prick. Good one. No, like I didn't hear that one outside, I know. So are you this Jim Anderson I keep hearing about? Aye. Your point call. No, it's just you look exactly how I expected you to look, to be honest. Long coat, knit jumper, it's very cliche. Is there some dude one outside, son, besides that tanking for my fucking boys here? I 
I'd rather skip the bean if it's all the same to you. But I... I'm here for my big brother. Is that right? He's all right here with me. How are you, Davy? See? He's not interested in going anywhere. You don't need him. He's learnt his lesson. Just... call it quits, eh? I do that, does that make me, eh, push over, a fucking laughing stock, I'll keep things this way, and I'll admit it, I enjoy having him for my wee lap dog. Now you, you ginger prick, fuck off out my pub, fuck off! No, I think, Jim. I don't think he gives a flying fuck what you think. You know what really makes you Mary a laughing stop? Hold on to my brother that's made an absolute mug of you on countless occasions. Or is it that you're that pathetic now that you've only got the boss to threaten women and wee lassies? That's it. I've had enough of your lip. I'm going to kick that good bitch. It does. Like this? Aye. It's the only thing you left me. I really had much to leave, mind you. You must have got someone who actually liked you. Set of boxing gloves. It's not all punch bag and it's tough, Neil Buchanan down the road, mind. Aye. Hard to forget. He was always a bit on the nose, wasn't he? Boxing gear for his nothing of a son. To give you that for. See if you could tell the time. I don't know, actually. Maybe he wanted to give me something that would follow me around everywhere I go. Maybe it's to remind me of how little time I've got left to man up. Or maybe I'm talking absolute pish. It's just because he didn't like it very much. He did like you, Alex. A funny way I show on it, but. He did love you. He had a weird way of showing it. Anyway, fuck it. It's on the past, just... Let it go, be the bigger man. I know you're the bigger man out of us two brothers anyway. Well, that's true. I mean, but are you even sure about us being in brothers? But I mean, come on, I'm ginger for fuck's sake, eh?
some view, eh? Some city. It is. But it's not the be all and end all, though. You and Christine could live oh, quite Fuck a... Christine. No, 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 wait, don't worry, don't worry. I called Christine, told her to pack a few bags, get on a bus to Kilmarnock, go for a wee day trip. Kilmarnock? It's got to be the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. What are they going to do in Kilmarnock? Go to Rugby Park and get a killy pie? Or maybe they'll go to Owen Frank and visit the cast members of the scheme. Marvin and that Doug. Strikes Dugs. You're going to need a motor for where you are going. Where am I going? Anywhere. Anywhere but Muir Hill. This is your one shot getting your act together and you need to. Davy. No for you. For they too. What about you? Ah, don't worry about me. Jim will no doubt want my head in a platter, but I'll go for that one. Just meaning, how are you going to get home? Did you think that through, did you? Why? Good point, actually. Oh, it's sound! Oh, I could do that nice walk anyway. Get a lean, get a bus, like a bus. Bus? Here's me thinking you think you'd think you're above it. Then, Davey, take care of yourself. You too, big man. Alec, what is it now? Fly stone. Ah, did you look yet, Marie?